cancer survivor gets the surprise from a king. Of course, the hit king we're talking about here. Our Jake Ryle has the story you'll see only on WCPO 9 News. Inside Suite 222, an encouraging story of numbers. She was 31 years old and we thought we caught it early. Uh, and we did. Uh, thankfully, she did. Justin Line, the husband of Courtney Line. And then in October, she noticed something on a self-check, and she got worried and concerned, and so we went and got checked. If I can tell anybody anything, do your self-checks. And if anything feels off, you go and get checked. Reassure yourself. It could be nothing, but it could be something. For her, it was something breast cancer. She underwent surgery, was in remission in January, and started chemotherapy. When she finished that in May, their family celebrated by going to Great American Ballpark. Last time he was here, he just gave us some really encouraging words and just being able to spend the whole evening with him watching baseball and talking baseball. Enter another number. 14. Pete Rose found out about Courtney's journey and stopped by for the May game. It, it really lifted her spirits. Uh, in that time because yes, she was done with chemo, but she also knew she was facing radiation. Which brings us to Friday. Spencer Steer, home run. As she watches the game, she and her family are celebrating being done with radiation. Uh, and she has no clue about the next thing. None. So, and she's very gullible. She won't figure it out. The hit king makes a royal return. Well, I didn't see her reaction today. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can say I was surprised again. Beyond a few autographs, a few words. I couldn't went through that. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't think many people could, but she's strong and uh, she's happy, and uh, that's why she went through it and made it. You know, when he was playing ball, he always had that mindset of be the best, do your best. And so with this, it just kind of remembered that, like um, when I'm going through every step of this journey, just go through each day, give it all I've got, do my best. Taking everything one day at a time. Now, done with radiation and chemo, Courtney will continue treatment for the next two to five years. She is hoping her story will encourage other women to do checks every month. Craig.